From 1917 to 1928, half a million people were afflicted with a ghastly condition that could be part of the plotline of a horror film. The victims, very much alive and conscious, found themselves in inexplicably frozen states, their static bodies prisons for their minds. Encephalitis lethargica, EL, aka the sleeping sickness, first appeared in Europe and quickly spread around the world, reaching epidemic levels in North America, Europe, and India by 1919. About a third of those stricken with the illness died. Of the survivors, nearly half eventually found themselves unable to physically interact with the world around them, all the while fully aware of their surroundings. Though occasionally capable of limited speech, eye motion, and even laughter, they generally appeared as living statues, totally motionless for hours, days, weeks, or years. The cause is unknown, but one theory is brain inflammation triggered by a rare strain of Streptococcus, the bacteria responsible for many sore throats each year. Science's best guess is that the bacteria mutated, provoking the immune system to attack the brain, leaving the victim helpless. None of this explains why the illness disappeared only to resurface sporadically, be it in Europe in the 1950s or in China 10 years ago when a 12-year-old girl was hospitalized for five weeks with the disease. Are such occurrences the new normal, or are they signs that EL could be planning something bigger any day? A 2004 analysis of 20 patients with symptoms remarkably similar to EL concluded that whatever ailed them is still prevalent. As such, history's so-called sleeping sickness remains the stuff of nightmares.